course, a lot of us Texans struggling because of inflation, and we know that second quarter GDP numbers indicate the U.S. economy is teetering on a recession. So joining us now is President and CEO of DeWitt and Dunn Financial Services. That would be Kathy DeWitt Dunn. Thank you so much for being with us. So let's talk about some of the signs of recession that we're seeing. You've got some people saying, no, this is not a recession. You've got others saying, we're definitely in a recession. So what would it be? Well, Todd, I think based upon what the uh, definition of a recession is, it's two quarters that are consecutive of gross domestic product loss. And we saw the first quarter that we are down 1.4%, uh, and then the second quarter a little bit under 1%. So it looks like it, that we're in a recession. Well, as Texans, what can we do to prepare or to deal with this? And how long will it last? Do we know? You know, that's a great question as far as how long it's going to last. But I think um, based upon the great recession that we had in 2008 where the banks just completely failed, I feel that our bank balance sheets are much stronger. And uh, many of the economists feel that um, if we do see this recession and it really reaches out to all of us individually, that it should be short-lived. So in the meantime, what can we do to kind of uh, prepare or to deal with it? You know, I think one of the challenges is, is that you need to have a plan in place. So we need to look at diversifying our investments and mitigating the risk first and initially, but by also having different asset classes, whether it's stocks, bonds, real estate, gold. I mean, if we go back to uh, 2008, gold just soared through the uh, roof. It went up over 100%. And then I think the biggest thing is, is that you need to make sure that whatever money that you're going to need to spend in the next couple of years, that you have that available to you and it's not at risk. But I would also eliminate our high interest credit card debt that we have because we know those rates are going to go up. And um, if we can get rid of that debt, then we can follow um, making payments on some of our lower debt. And I think boosting emergency savings, because typically in a recession, we see a lot of layoffs and people lose a paycheck. And we need to make sure that we have funds available. And I have a calculator on my website at DeWitt and Dunn that can actually help you um, to figure out what it is that you're going to need to save. And I would also say just remain calm. I tell all my clients that I work with, if you have a plan in place and you have diversification, the biggest thing is, is don't make emotional decisions inside of your portfolio and make sure that you work with a financial advisor that has your best interests at heart and can help you through these times. All right. Thank you so much. Appreciate it. Thank you, Todd.